Hi everyone, welcome to this lesson on points, lines, and planes. This is the very first lesson for geometry. It's the most introductory basic lesson we could possibly do. It's lesson 1.1, so it's the very first thing, and it's my page one that I do in my notebooks. So follow along with me. Feel free at some point if you want to pause, write things down, answer a question before I actually answer it for you, and rewatch whenever you need to. So let's get started. So the most basic elements of geometry are points, lines, and planes. And out of those three, the most basic is simply a point. The definition of what a point is is simply a location. So when you have a point placed somewhere on a plane, on a piece of paper, anywhere, you're just noting a location. It has no other definition. And we're going to get into that in just a moment. A line, the definition of what a line is, is that it's made up of points. It has no thickness or width. So when you think of a line, it's simply just a series of points all in a row, which becomes a line. And you can't say that you have like a thin line or a thick line. It's simply just locations. The last terminology that we need to make sure we know before we go forward is what a plane is. A plane is a flat surface. So think of a piece of paper. It's a flat surface made up of points. And points that are that create lines then create this entire plane. So not only is a flat surface made up of points, but it's made up of all these intersecting lines all over the place. And it creates that one flat surface that extends indefinitely in those two directions. We're going to get to know each one of these terms a little bit closer now. So let's take a look. I'm going to just move my, my face right here. So first, a point. When we're using points in geometry and we're labeling things out, we usually make it look like this. We put a dot and we put a capital letter to signify what that location is going to be labeled. And we simply call this point A. So when you see this diagram, it's just simply called point A. Some facts about this point. It has no shape or size, so you can't say a point is large or small. Collinear. Collinear means, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, collinear means you have points on the same line. Okay, so if I had a line, there were points on the same line, I would say those points are collinear. Non-collinear means you have points that are not on the same line. So think about the three points of a triangle. Those three points are definitely not on the same line. Now a line. A line is going to look like this. A line is going to be where we have a line segment with arrows at either end. You always need those arrows to denote a line. There's um, always at least two points that create a line. So here I have point A and point B. And the points are always labeled with those capital letters, but then a line is also labeled with a lowercase script letter. So here I'm using the lowercase script letter M. There's really a lot of different ways I could name this figure here. I could call it line M, so line of the script little lowercase letter. I can call it line AB. So I could say, hey, I've got two points on this line AB, and I can call it line AB. I can also call it line BA. It doesn't matter. You don't have to go from left to right. It could be right to left. It does not matter. But there's also special notation for a line. And it's a line, a little mini line, right above those letters. So you can say line AB with the word line, or actually write the letters AB and put that line symbol above it. And the same thing would be here for line BA. They all mean the same thing. So look at this. There was only way, one way to call this point A. But there's five ways to refer to this diagram. Facts about lines. They're made up of points with no thickness. That was on the definition from the previous slide. There's only one line through any two points. So if you look at these two points, A and B, there's only one line I could uh, draw right through those points. There is not any other line. That's it. And lines intersect at one point. So if you think about it, if my arm is a line and my other arm is another line, they'll only ever intersect at that one point right there. They're not going to curve back because then that's not a line. Planes. So here's an example of what a plane looks like. And let me just describe my bad drawing here. I've got point D, 
point E, point F. They all have dots next to them. So point D, point E, point F. And then this is a letter C in the corner of the plane. Though there's many different ways I can name this plane. Now planes are named by three non-collinear points. So I think we can clearly see that D, E, and F, they definitely are not collinear. They're not going to make a straight line. And you need those three non-collinear points to define a plane. I can call this plane by the little letter that's in the corner, so I can call this plane C. Or if I want to name it using those points, I can call it plane D, E, F, or plane D, F, E. I can call it plane E, D, F, or E, F, D. I can use any um, order change, okay, any permutation of those three letters to name my plane. So I actually could name this plane seven different ways. I can name it by the letter that's in the corner. Usually it's a script letter. I can name it by three non-collinear points, and I can put those in any order. It does not matter. Some facts about some planes. They extend ind indefinitely in all directions. So when I talk to you about a piece of paper being a plane, the paper stops. It's usually eight and a half by 11 if we're talking about a standard sheet of paper. But a plane is a surface that extends this, uh, you know, east to west, north, south. However, that plane is figured, it goes the entire way through. It's created by three non-collinear points, which is what I mentioned before about D, E, and F. When points are coplanar, that means that there's points on the same plane. Points intersect at a line. So imagine you had two sheets of paper and you intersected them and one piece of paper totally sliced through the other sheet of paper. Where my two hands are, my two planes, they actually intersect at a line right here. Okay, so two planes intersect at a line. If two sheets of paper were to slice right into each other, they would never intersect at a point. They intersect at that entire line that they create. Okay, so here it now says create a diagram of the following. So I'm going to read this and I'm going to encourage you right now as I'm reading it to try to draw this diagram. And press pause if you need to so that you can give yourself a chance before I reveal the answer. So now this says create a diagram of the following. Lines MN and PQ intersect at point R. Line MN lies in plane A, but line PQ does not. Point B lies in plane A, but is non-collinear with either line. So I'm going to give you a moment or pause to try to draw this diagram. Now, you might have a diagram that looks a little different than mine, but all of those rules, if you were to reread them, should still apply. This is what my diagram looks like. Line MN and PQ intersect at point R. Line MN lies in plane A, but PQ, line PQ, does not. Point B lies in plane A but is non-collinear with either line. So point B should be something that's not lined up with MN or PQ. So now based on your diagram, we should be able to answer some questions. So if I said to you then from this diagram, name three collinear points, you would be able to say points M, R, and N are definitely collinear. Also P, R, and Q are collinear for sure. If I said to name the intersection of plane A and line PQ. So plane A, remember, is like a piece of paper, and PQ would be like a pencil going through that paper. So think about what the intersection is of a piece of paper and a pencil going right through it. It wouldn't be a line. It would just be that point. So the intersection of plane A and line PQ is point R. The intersection of line PM and line MN. So the intersection of line PM, so if I was to create a new line here, so I'm going to do it right now, PM and line MN, okay, 
is, you should be able to see it pretty easily, point M. Name three more planes. So planes that aren't already listed. So naming any planes would simply mean to name any three non-collinear points. So as long as you see three points that do not make a straight line, like you couldn't say plane MRN or plane PRQ, but as long as you name any other set of three points, then you have a plane. So plane PRM would be a plane. Plane PRN could be another plane. PRB would be another plane. MBQ could be another plane. So as long as you name any three points on this grid that do not um, form a line, they're non-collinear, that would definitely name a plane. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Bye.